everyone. My name is Elizabeth Sheridan. I am with Pathways to Peace as a high school youth representative, and I'm also a founding officer of the Global Leaders Institute at Modern Day Prep. I'll tell you what that is later. So this program is brought as a part of a partnership. We work Modern Day Prep, which is my high school, we're based out of New Jersey, Pathways to Peace, and the United Nations DPI NGO programs. We're all coming together in order to fulfill SDG number 17. So my talk today is about the journey of the individual and what a person can do to change the world even if they work alone. So the Global Leaders Toolkit is a program in which we try to bring education to refugees and camps throughout the world. It's an online digital platform in which we take lesson plans and different techniques from teachers and we place them <coughs> on a available platform. We make it so that anyone who has access to a computer or the internet can reach it and we try and make it so everyone has a part but it didn't come out of nowhere. It all started with an idea. My freshman year, 2016, we attended a planning meeting for the International Day of Peace the next year. And we spoke about refugees and the issues that were facing the world. And we went back to school the next day, totally okay with forgetting what we just did, when our teacher, Mr. Anthony, he erased the whiteboard that had today's lesson on it, he handed us markers and he said, what can you do about it? What can you do to change their lives? So we created a toolkit. We took a blank whiteboard and we created an online platform that will hopefully help hundreds of kids throughout the world. We are from a high school, so we knew how important education was and how much it would change in us. We had so many opportunities that we wanted to push out into the world. We called it Prep for Peace. It encompasses everything the toolkit, the work we do within our schools, trying to bring peace throughout our community, and the work we do at the United Nations. It teaches basic universal skills in math, history, science, things that every child should have a foundation so that no matter where they are, they don't lose their place in their education. Okay, why was this possible? What made it so a bunch of teenage kids could do something that could affect people throughout the world? The reason it happened was because a bunch of individuals with a lot of different goals and reasonings and ideas sat down and worked together. They knew that they were few, they were young, but we could do something. Our program, the Global Leaders Institute at Modern Day Prep, focuses on building peace in the world. We want to build the culture of peace throughout it, and we want to start with the students, because we ourselves are young. We know that there is not much to us and we do not have much behind us. But we see our future. We see the future behind us, the children who are coming after, and we see it in those who have already gone before us. We learn what is in a name, what makes each person unique. Because you cannot have a person without knowing their history. You cannot know them unless you know what they have been through. Everyone in here has their own background. <coughs> they have the people they love and care about and the people they hate. They know what makes them them. And so we have to know that to know a person. Past experiences let you build what you are now. So who am I? I am 16 years old. There is not much to you. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I come, this is my family. I come from two parents. We're from a suburban town in New Jersey. Um, my parents are both educated and they taught me from a young age that education is the most important thing you can have because without it, you cannot have anything else. Another thing they taught me to value was the world. I was lucky enough to grow up in a family of travelers, people who really wanted to see what's around. So from a young age, I was able to experience a lot of different places and cultures. So when I built Toolkit, I had that in mind. I had the different places <coughs> I walked through, the different languages that I've heard. I had all of that behind me. I had my grandparents, who had built me into who I am with my cousins, who taught me what to value, love, so that we all came together. You cannot know who you are if you do not have a past. Everyone who came behind you builds you. My past has built my present, which will shape my future. I have been taught so many values throughout my life by teachers and parents and fellow classmates. But what have you been taught? What have you been taught throughout your lives? What do you value? I cannot tell you that. I cannot stand here and say, the person in the third row has gone through this many experiences in their life. This is what they matter. This is what they value. You have to know that for yourself. <clears throat> when you take what you have learned and bring it together with other people, 
you can build something beautiful. Your individual journey has shaped you. So the toolkit, back to that. We built the toolkit because we are a bunch of individuals, we're high schoolers, so we still have big heads and we think we can change the world. <laughs> so our goal was to do that. We came together in unity. This is a talk for the CSW conference. We're, a lot, we're all women here. Our goal is to try and build up the next generation of women, which is me, so thank you for that, but also to help see yourselves in your place so that you could be what you want to be without anyone stopping you. Your past, your mothers, your grandmothers, your great-grandmothers, all your ancestors have gone through so much, and that is what makes you an individual. The Global Toolkit combines the individual journeys of very young people because we shared a common passion. We wanted to create change where others saw nothing. We saw a need, so we built something. We always seek additional partners because you can't stop a movement. Once you start, you cannot go back. I cannot go back in time to three years and say, you know, don't do that. You're not going to want to do that in three years. You're going to be bored of it. No one's going to care. I can't do that. It doesn't matter if one person hears me or if no people hear me ever. As long as one person keeps working, something is changing. As long as one individual is moving forward, something is growing. I was asked to tell my culture of peace, so this is it. A culture of peace is the coming together of people from all over the world, bringing their own talents and ideas to create a shared experience to benefit all mankind. Basically what I said, individuals coming together in a unit. We created Prep for Peace. That is our basis for our digital platform, the Global Toolkit. It was originally created um, three, two years ago? I don't know how old I am. Uh, <laughs> freshman year. We, this is our second website. We revamped it recently. It was coded by a freshman in high school. A bunch of kids just wanting to make a difference. I think you can hear me saying high school a lot. Like, I'm trying to show you guys. doesn't matter who you are or what age. You could be as young as I am, or you could be however old you need to be to start your individual journey. Nothing's stopping you. So if this works, Mm -hmm. All right, so I can't get the website to load right now, but if you would like to visit, it's www.prepforpeace.org, and the four, the four is number four. <coughs> Sorry. So that's the next slide. A little bit more about the toolkit, because that is what I'm here to talk to you about. It's available to everyone who wants to use it, no matter what your age, and we're always looking for more donations. So. Are there any teachers or educators in the room? Oh, there are a few. Okay, so I have my business card. You can visit us at Prep for Peace. We're always looking for new media, new information. We can't have a stagnant force. We need to be building as we go. And having teachers and educators helping us in that journey would really grow the program and help reach more children. As I said, our goal is to help children in refugee camps because they have to place their education on hold. These are people who could do so much as long as they're given the right tools. So thank you all for your time, and I hope you have a great time. We still have a minute and a half. So, oh my goodness, thank you, thank you, thank you. So now it's, there's an opportunity for you to be able to share it. So uh, we would like to ask you, how do you build a culture of peace, knowing that there's just far more wisdom in this room than we could ever present from the front? And so what we'd like you to do is to not chat with the person you might know next to you, but instead maybe look behind or in front of you or to someone that you don't know and talk about how you build a culture of peace. And of course, we could do this for days, but we're going to have a little bit of time, and then we're going to ask you to do some shout outs about what you learned. So let's do it. How do you build a culture of peace? Find someone you don't know. <laughs> Yeah. 
field of 